everyone, my name is Heather and this is my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a timeline tool called Time Graphics. Time Graphics is a free online timeline maker, very useful for creating timelines for projects, for creating timelines in your library or classroom, very easy, useful, intuitive, user-friendly tool if you ever need to make timelines, outlines, breaking things down for your students, your friends and groups, or if you're ever assigned a timeline, it's very easy to create one in a digital online format. So let me very quickly show you how this works. First off, you go into the upper left-hand corner, you're looking at time.graphics, that's the name of the address. And then after that, you go to the upper right-hand corner, they're going to ask you to sign in. It's very easy to use this. If you're an educator, you might want to create accounts for your students. If you're a student, you can create this easily with name, and email address. That's it. Quick sign in. Then you'll actually have access to your timelines, your profiles. They do send a confirmation email. Then after that, you click on create. That is it. And this is what it looks like. You already have the timeline ready. It shows you what to do using the keyboard arrows to move the timeline back and forth. So you can just move it from side to side where you need it to go. I'm clicking my keyboards. So I'm going from 2018, 2019. Now, right now I'm in the timeline of now. If you're doing something historical, you want to go back further in time. If you want to do something like a timeline of your life, or if you want to do a timeline of what's happening in the next year, or an action plan of something that you're breaking down or planning to do over a year, you can use that as well. I'm just showing you how to put things in. And then you can also use the mouse and the trackboard to drag your information back and forth. This wheel right here is what it allows you to put into the timeline. And so you have options that are free, and then there are other things that you do have to pay to put in. Um, I pretty much stick with all the free items. And so you can put in things like events, you can put in... Uh, pretty much anything from Google, a document, a spreadsheet, all of those types of things. Um, and so you have all different types of options, dates, and so on and so forth. So let's say that I want to put in a date right here. All you have to do is double click. You click and you put in an event. And then you put in the title of the event. And then, to be quite honest, it looks a lot like Google scheduling. You put in a new event. And so let's just say that I want to put in library opens at school. I'm just showing you an example. You can put in a description and then you can put in the date. If you don't like that particular date, you can put in 2018. Let's go ahead and say more along the lines of August 30th. If you want to actually put in the hours and the minutes, you can do that as well. You can position it up above or down below the line, your text layout, your design of where you want it. So let's say that I want it larger or smaller. I can change my color if I like. If I don't like that color, I can go with something red or pink. And you can change all of your colors and then you are done. Or you can also copy it if you don't like that. You can also trash it. And then you're finished. That's just an easy example of one simple way to make, you can move, you can single click, it'll open right back up again, and you can make any changes that you want. After that, you just click and continue creating. You can also add in images, links, documents, whatever you want. Now, if you'd like to see what a full timeline looks like, because I'm just showing you very quickly how to actually add an event to a timeline, I'm going to show you this really cool one on history of horror films. This one's pretty fun. And this one is the history of horror films from 1886 to 2017. What this person has done is they have gone all the way back. So you can just keep on scrolling. You can see all of the different images. They've actually done an entire era. They've actually put in eras. So you can do timeline sections. They've put in links as well as links to the videos as well as images. And so you can also see what a full timeline looks like. So this is just an example of one for fun. So looking for a way to do timelines, looking for a way for your students to do timelines, looking for a way to put everything together in a very easy to use linkable format over time. Timeline.graphics is a great way to do that. Useful tool. Hope you enjoy it. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. More videos to come. Have a great day.